Yo, what's up everyone? Kiro's here and today we're going to go over a matrix or a matrix guide. Now this is technically the pay to win system where you can get, you need to get multiple matrixes in order to rank them up and then uh, apply them to your different weapons, give them uh, different effects. But I do want to stress this, that there are ways to get really great matrixes, SSRs all the way through the game. I'm going to show you that first before we do a review of the s of all the matrixes so hit that like and subscribe and let's get started all right quickly before we get into the matrix C review i do want to talk about that you can get these from summons now the way that matrixes work is that you'll have these ssr sr and regular versions of these uh, matrixes and you can limit break them essentially three times so that means you need three copies uh, three to four copies of each style. So if you say you're going for uh, Samir's, you know, Samir has four different pieces to get the four set bonus. Um, but then you can take all four pieces and you can you can merge them into each other to get the limit bro uh, broken version. You can see those stars right there, those three stars right there. You can limit break them to get an even stronger effect. But what I do want to say is that the pity for this is 40. So no matter every 40, you're going to get uh, you're going to get one. And as a free to play player, you don't have to spend any money on this. This is really for like those high end players that want to do it. You'll get a lot of these from just doing events. And this is really what I want to show you is that by doing world bosses in different events, you can actually get these as well. Like here's a world boss right here. You can see that it drops Kings SSR um, uh, matrix. It also drops a bunch of other matrices too and that goes for every single uh world boss so depending on which ones you're trying to focus on you may want to focus each week on the matrix that you're looking for in addition you do get a shot to get those ssrs on top of that now to show one other one other thing is that to make it even more free to play friendly you can actually earn matrices in multiple different locations as well you can see joint operation which are the dungeons and we'll have a dungeon guide later you can earn you can earn these in different dungeons and each different dungeon has different sets in it and they rotate by the day so you have another shot to get them here every single day then on top of that you do have uh weeklies or void rifts now these do reset technically i think monday wednesday friday or tuesday thursday saturday you get a, a refresh but you can earn them here as well you get the raw summon material and you have a shot at SSRs in these uh, activities as well. So I just wanted to say it is very free to play friendly as long as you're not going for the three star variants. Like those are for uh, if you do want to pay and there's maybe a limited and stuff like that. I just wanted to put it out there because a lot of people are confused by the matrixes and I hope this clears it up on you can if you're free to play, you can earn them over time and get the ones you're looking for to get those set bonuses. So let's go on over and review those sets. And a quick pro tip, you always wanna upgrade the mine slot first because it has crit on it and crit is king until you're at crit cap at the beginning and throughout the whole game. Now you're gonna see a common theme, but you're gonna wanna stack uh, two piece SSRs. Uh, a lot of times in all honesty, there's, uh, if you can't get the four piece and you don't always wanna use the four piece, sometimes you're gonna stack two pieces. So you're gonna see that as a theme. All right, first up, we have Claudia's two-piece increases damage by 13% when hitting a target in the air, and then resets the double jump. And then the four-piece hitting an enemy with a skill reduces the skills of all weapon skills, so all the ones you have equipped, and increases damage by 63% for 15 seconds. Now, this is especially good on, I would say, Claudia, Samir, and Crow, but the two-piece especially is really, really good when paired with Samir's two-piece or Crow's two-piece. All right, one of my favorites, Samir's. Her two-piece increases damage by 1% after hitting a target, stacking 10 or upwards of 20 times if you limit break that. Now, you can see the CN version difference. We're hoping that we get that update at some point, or they do fix that at some point. Her four-piece increases dual stars electrical explosion by 40% of attack and grants an extra hit. Now, this is very exclusive to her, so her four-piece is really only good for her, but her two-piece is just great for everyone you could take that two piece you could put on almost every single character not even kidding one of the best two pieces to try and uh go after and farm now crow's two piece is also really good increases crit damage to targets with less than 60 percent health by 24 or up to 42 percent depending on when you uh limit break that now if you especially stack this with claudia he becomes a beast and if you saw my latest tier video you can see here 
It just does a ton of aerial damage, but he does require a lot of investments. Now his four piece uh, crits deal additional damage over time equal to X amount uh, for five seconds. So I rather do a two piece, two piece on him because his two piece is really good everywhere else, but the four piece is especially good for Crow himself. All right, next up, we do have Coco's. Coco's two piece increases healing by 8% or 12% or yada, yada, yada. Then the four piece increases uh, the damage of your teammates by upwards of 17, 18% for two seconds. Now, the problem is that we really need that CN version. Two seconds is just not enough time. If it was six seconds, this is actually best in slot for both Zero and Coco. All right, speaking of Zero, I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of his two piece. Upon using a discharge, you get a 210% attack shield uh, for four seconds. It really needs to be longer. Four seconds is way too quick. It needs to be six, eight, 10 seconds. Now the four piece is especially good, but I really wouldn't use this matrix until you have the four piece and you're using them as a support and assuming your zero is at least one star advancement or some healing. And then at that case, it's probably still better to use at least the two piece Coco or even maybe four piece. And once again, not one I would go out of my way to farm. Now, if you're a human main, I totally get it. Her two piece does hitting all targets with a dodge skill, uh, puts a bleed dot on them for five seconds, a really, really good skill for her. And I would pair that with either probably King or Meryl or some combination of those two piece uh, sets. Her four piece does reduce uh, the attack of all enemies within uh, eight meters, but unfortunately it's just really not useful and there's just much better sets and technically better weapons too. Not to say that her weapon is bad. All right, this is probably the last limited I'll cover on this pool, but Cobalt's two piece restores one dodge every four seconds. The dodge attack adds a burn to the target. Now, Cobalt does a ton of damage, so that two-piece is pretty good. But once again, probably only really good for her. But you could use that two-piece for anyone because it's just dodging, right? Uh, Four-piece set increases damage by 25% to targets with abnormal assassins. That's a lot to juggle in this game. So it's a lot better to pair that two-piece with uh, a two-piece with Samir or Crow or anything that's going to give you a little bit more uh, versatility than being locked into that for, uh, four piece. So I wouldn't go after that four piece, but a two piece set for her especially is not that bad. Now we're on to Meryl. Now Meryl's gonna synergize with pretty much herself, but funny enough, her set is probably not the best in slot for her. But if you were to have a completely advanced six star Meryl, where you're balancing that shield to get additional shield destruction that she puts on herself, not too bad. If you get hit with less than 30% HP, you get a shield. Then her four piece increases a whirlwind damage. Not too bad either, but not one I would uh, particularly go after uh, because it's just too niche. Now her two piece can't be used on Coco and maybe zero, but especially Coco. And that's that's really all we got for her. So I would not go out of my way to farm Meryl's uh, SSR matrix at this time. Now a matrix that is actually good, Kings. His two piece, when the target is shattered, he'll get additional damage, or the person wielding it will get additional damage. Now, I'm not a big fan of the four piece here, but I am a huge fan of that two piece. So, getting multiple sets of that two piece for someone like Meryl, someone like King, someone like uh, Shiro, or anyone that can do good shield shattering is going to be a great two piece for them. And then, on top of that, I would stack this with the two piece from Shiro, especially, or Samir would be a good pairing. All right, next up, we have Subasa. Two-piece increases damage by 17% when there are no enemies within four meters. Now, this is actually a good two-piece, but it can only go on certain characters like Shiro or Subasa, who's really attacking from really far away. Now, the four-piece does, upon hitting a headshot, increases attack by 21% for eight seconds. This is actually pretty good in PvP. This is actually pretty good for Subasa specifically, but it's not going to be good for anyone else uh, or any anyone who's not a bow user. Shiro. Now, the two-piece from Shiro is actually pretty good. It increases damage and shatter to targets with more than 50% HP by 26%. This is what makes her really good when paired with, like, a King who can shatter or Meryl that can shatter. But that really... The problem with her kit and the four-piece on top of it, right? Upon entering battle, you get 35% damage boost resets after five seconds being outside the battle. If you're in a long boss fight or a boss fight with a lot of HP, you're really, you're just really saying that, hey, that four piece is not going to do a whole lot. And then that two piece is only going to be useful for half of the fight, which may or may not be a good thing. But I don't usually like taking artifacts like that for crows because at least it's on the bottom half of the HP pool. 
Now, once again, the two piece is good for King, Shiro, and Meryl. That's who I would probably put it on. Oof. All right, we got through all the SSRs. Now, we're probably going to speed run on camera the SRs. There's only a few that we really want to talk about here. And they do require three pieces, so you can't do pairing of two pieces. Now, quickly, before we move to that, if I had to pick one matrix for you to farm that would just be good across the board, it would be Samir's. You could put Samir on literally everyone besides maybe your healers and having multiple two pieces of Samir is, is just, it's easy money. All right, let's cover the SRs. Now you do have the R uh, matrices too. Uh, you, you can use them. I wouldn't level them up too much. I would save those uh, resources for when you start getting SRs because you're gonna end up getting a lot of SRs from all the activities you do um, as you start to level up. Ailing's uh, three sets actually pretty good. Increases damage to grievous targets. So this is especially good for Claudia, Shiro, or uh, any physical uh, damage attacking type. And once again, you cannot pair these, right? Because they're three set bonuses. So they're kind of on their own. Echoes, I'm not a big fan of when you're using this uh, discharge skill and ultimate skill is what I call it. Um, you switch to the current weapon. It grants additional weapon charge. It allows you to do more and more alts, but I'm just not a big fan of this uh, three piece, especially for leveling it um Ine's is actually pretty good when dealing damage greater than 100 deal additional damage equal to 90 percent of attack or 60 to 90 percent cooldown three seconds so this is good for big hitting skills especially for the hammer scythe um anything that's going to hit large and charge in a big burst hill days not nothing to write home here about increases attack by 22 percent when there's no enemies within six meters um so this is actually pretty good uh, it, it, sorry, I take it back. This is actually pretty good for like Shiro or Subasa or anyone who's at range. Um, and actually probably one of the better three pieces until you get a perfect two piece, two piece set for those characters. Moving on to peppers. I actually like peppers a lot. Increases the char uh, speed of charging weapons by 15%. Now remember that uh, especially staffs, they get additional weapon charge speed to get you more ultimates. I do really enjoy this one. Um, I would use the three piece set hundred percent. I just wouldn't level it, um, too much. Now I'm a big fan of the rogue Barg set. When the target is shattered, poison the target and deal, uh, damage equal to 65% of attack every second for 10 seconds. I actually really like this because if you stack it with King, so this is a good interim King, uh, matrix, uh, especially with the one star advancement on King. You can um, you can get double dots going. It's it's a, it's a nice amount of damage to help you out. Um, now you have the Oppo fist. <laughs> I'm probably butchering that. I apologize. Uh, deal higher damage at lower HP. Right off the gate, I don't like this. The any any matrix that requires you to have a condition uh, to really do maximum damage. Not a big fan, especially when you're messing with HP and it might get you killed. Not a big fan of this matrix. Next, we have the Frostbot when below HP. Once again, the same thing. Uh, using a discharge skill and switching the weapons restores HP. Not a big fan, unfortunately. Uh, the Sobek is actually really, really, really good and really good for almost any single DPS. So if you get a bunch of Sobeks, throw it on your DPS, increases damage by 9% for each enemy nearby, especially for AoEers. I mean, like Meryl, uh, Samir, Claudia, anyone. If they're all doing damage, it's a great, great starter matrix. And finally we, finally, we have the Bar, uh, Barbarossa. Upon switching the weapon, gain 75% damage reflection. Not a big fan of this. And then you have to switch the weapon again to get an additional damage boost for 5 seconds. Cooldown 30 seconds. Not a big fan. Now, it's good for if you're really good at timing your burst. But I think there's better matrixes out there. Wait, um, that was kind of a crash course i think that gave you guys some uh, good information if you have any more comments or questions hit me up in the comments down below i will definitely answer them or get you an answer or find out the answer or whatnot now as my final little tip before you go if you're still here remember limited ssr matrixes and ssrs in general will eventually hit the general pool they usually take limiteds and they put them in the general pool after six months seven months so you don't always have to pull on all these limiteds. You'll have a shot to get them off your free daily logins and stuff like that later on in the game. So that's all I've got. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like and subscribe. I do appreciate you. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Fist bump from me to you.